Oh, what's happening, my people? So it's that time of the week. So it's Walking Dead, Season 10, Episode 8, The World Before. And time of the week, I got my got my notes ready, got my uh my knowledge of the of the comic books a little bit, uh, and my newfound curiosity for what is about to happen. But let's get into it. So it starts off the last big thing of the episode, or last thing of Walking Dead that happened. Sadiq is murdered. Oh my God. So now that they without a doctor, Rosita is a can you say she's a single mother? She got a lot of a lot of suitors. <laughs> but so uh, Coco's biological father has died. Uh, so they they getting they they get confrontated with a with with homeboy. They they find him. He he's just killed Sadiq. So they get into it. He tries to kill Rosita. Rosita busts his head. Like I seen Sadiq wake up, and so he was a walker. So what I was thinking was gonna happen was he was on top of Rosita choking her. So I'm like, what would be you? Cole is he just killed Sadiq? So Sadiq comes behind him and kills him as a walker. That would have been good. That would have been a good plot point. It would have been been a uh, poetic justice. But nah, it wasn't exactly like that. She end up she stabs she stabs homeboy. She beats his ass. And so he was about to kill Coco. It seemed like Coco and uh in in Sadiq never did have too good of a relationship. Well, he tried to hit up. But every time he had the baby in his arms or something, he always had like a like some psychotic fit or something, man. He was uh. But anyways, so Rosita has to kill her baby daddy again. Like he's, he's dead for the second time in a row. Uh, they have to bring homeboy to justice, and we see a little bit of his backstory and stuff. They show him, and he was in in the plot, and he was killing all the Alexandria people, and that's when Alpha put him up to to going and being part of them or whatever, and seeing how he infiltrated the group, and it makes people question themselves. They like, damn it, he been with us all this time. It's been like four months. It seemed like it would have been longer, like in the time span or whatever, but no, well, I guess that's a bit more accurate, because it's been about four months, uh, they, they killed, uh, killed the people or whatnot. He was he wasn't on the show before they killed, uh, before all the people got killed? I guess not. I don't know. I have to, to go back and check, but I'm not. But, uh, Rosita beat him. Uh, they, they got different things happening. So everybody is going around doing different things. Mary talks talks to Aaron, and so she has a newfound, I guess, like a disdain for Alpha. Alpha made her kill her sister. Well, she sacrificed her sister for Alpha, and the baby, her sister, baby is gone and stuff. She doesn't have any more family left, and she doesn't see Alpha as as this savior that she has been for everybody else. Because she lied to him. Lydia is still alive. So in that. She she divulges a little bit more to Aaron. Like uh. I want to see my nephew or whatever. So I give you this knowledge. So she tells him where the herd is. Supposedly. Is the herd there or not. We'll see towards the end of the episode. So. Michonne asks him ass kicker they head they head into Oceanside. So they get uh they they get sidetracked. They end up going to to the library. They have a little town on the way they want to go to the library because the ass kicker has been writing a journal about everything that's been going on. So the music teacher, homeboy, that plays the instruments or whatever, he he's he's like, well if you wanna you wanna brush up on your writing and your skills or whatever you need to read more so let's go to this library. So let's go to the library and looking at books and whatever. So he goes to the back, way in the back, doesn't even usually, well, if you smart in the Walking Dead universe, you go somewhere and like you check a room and you like knock or whatever. But he just goes there, he's looking at the books. Wow. So walkers come out of nowhere and they, they grab him. Then Franklin's father from Snowfall <laughs> busts out and he saves him, but then he runs off, so they chase after him, but they don't catch him.
And if you watch Snowfall, you see Franklin and stuff. I will be referring to him as Franklin's father. That is who he is. <laughs> uh, let me see. They have the the makeshift funeral or whatever. So they have a little funeral with Rosita or whatever. And at this point in time, I have like a little comedic kind of moment, but a, a reality moment. Comedy is based on uh things that you notice and it's truthful. So this joke right here, <laughs> or a little comedic moment, all Rosita lovers have died. A lot of them, not everyone, but a lot has died. So Sadiq has died. This is her baby daddy. Uh, Abraham died. That was her lover at a time. Not necessarily whenever he died, but they were lovers. She was messing around with uh, the Alexandria mayor or whatever the original woman was that was in control of Alexandria, but her son, she was messing with him. He died. So <laughs> he, was a, he was a bitch ass dude, so he deserved to die or whatever. But that's three people that is messing with Rosita and if Got the axe. I'm. Just, it could be more if if I think, but I I, th I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, uh, so all she had left is <laughs> she's and she still got Father Gabriel. She still got Father Gabriel and uh and Eugene is a possible suitor. Look like she's having some a little bit of little little feelings for Eugene maybe, but she goes she goes out outside of the fence, so she's losing it for a second. So she goes to fight Walkers. And she's not thinking clearly because usually in the past she's always been able to just like, like kill the walkers and stuff. Kind of like uh old girl Alicia on uh, Fear the Walking Dead. Uh, but now while she's killing these walkers or uh, trying to, to relieve some stress I guess. She's thinking she Coco starts to pass in the, in the back of her mind. So she's like oh no I can't die out here because I have a daughter. But that messes up her mind. And so but Eugene he was stalking her. So he goes out there and he helps her and he, he, they kill the walker and then he goes goes off into the distance or whatever. He's like, well, well, I guess I'll talk to you later. I got to go, got to go, whatever. So she goes spill this to Father Father Gabriel. She's like, Father Gabriel, I used to be able to do this and whatnot. And then, uh, but now I don't want to die because Coco or whatever. And he kind of just like brushes off. You, you all in your emotions right now. You're going to be all right. Just keep pushing, whatever. He's usually more sympathetic and more, but he kind of got a little cold spot in his heart. And so she's taken aback by that. But what what's going to happen with this cold spell in his heart? Uh, I'm trying to stay, trying to stay, uh, in, in line. I'm trying to stay in line. Or uh, Oceanside, they end up go, getting back to Oceanside. So they on high alert because they can't be trusted. The, she gets a walkie-talkie uh, message like early on, like right after the the library thing. Well, in the library, after they chase homeboy, you know, it ends up Sadiq is dead. So they get to Oceanside, and it's like we can't be trusting anybody, man, because the doctor has been with us forever, and he turned out to be be a whisperer. So man, who can we trust? So they got this black dude. He they they find him. They finally find a. Uh, they finally find Franklin's father, and so they they gotta capture him. And what are you doing here? And whatnot. But then the other walkers, a big gang of walkers, you know, storm on him, and he tries to get away. But a little ass kicker cuts him in the leg. Yeah. And so she subdues subdues him. So he's a prisoner, or whatever. They can't he can't be trusted. Moving on to another another storyline. Uh. So back back at, at Alexandria, Father Gabriel, he goes try to talk to the doctor and he's like, uh they're talking about forgiveness or whatnot. And the doctor's talking about like uh nobody should be forgiven in this time. We everybody's evil and whatnot. And in Father Gabriel's like, Yeah, everybody deserves a, everybody gets a second chance or whatever, but everybody don't deserve it. Pretty much kinda like what he said. And just start stabbing him. Uh, uh, cause homeboy, he was like, he was like, y'all gonna have a trial, and uh, y'all gonna do this because y'all weak and whatnot. And what? He didn't make to no make it to no trial, cause Father Gabriel tore his ass up. I'm like, whoa, Father Gabriel, what? But I'm happy because I couldn't stand the doctor. 
He been a weirdo, but then he killed Sadiq. You deserve to die. Father Gabriel, salute. Salute, brother. All the, the messed up things you have did, that, that does um, make up for a lot that you, <laughs> that you have did by killing him. Uh, we move on to Daryl and them. So Daryl and them is right. Uh, I forgot what they're going to do, but they, I think they, they're going to uh, follow this lead to see where these, uh, where the herd is, if the, the information that they got was accurate. And one thing it made me think, I'm like, that's a very unpractical vehicle. Like he's still riding this motorcycle, like a motorcycle in this time period, especially when everybody doesn't have vehicles and stuff. He, he's going through the whisperer territory and all kind of stuff and whatnot with a bunch of walkers. You riding a motorcycle. The practicality in it is gas. It's a gas saver. But man, it's too much noise. And then what burns me up is in Walking Dead, they are on horseback. They are in the old Wild Wild West days. Fear of the Walking Dead. They driving tanks and Lamborghinis and in speed boats and yachts and all kind of vehicles on Fear the Walking Dead. But on Walking Dead, they don't have no transportation. They, they got buggies and stuff pulling them around. I'm like, okay, okay. So in Texas, in Texas, they still have all kind of vehicles. And we have oil and gas and we can go. But around D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, wherever they at right now, they on horseback and stuff. They don't have, okay. Okay, uh, Daryl and Carol, they, they have a heart-to-heart -heart talk whenever they, and she, he's, he's like, man, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, Carol? You really, all you're doing, you just want to kill, you just want to kill Alpha. You're putting everybody in a bad situation. You're not thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about the group or whatever. You just, you just want vengeance. I've been talking to a ghost the whole time. Like, what's, what's wrong? We, we got to, we got to be smarter. So he, he thinks he gets through to her. They have a heart to heart. He wipes her tears and stuff. It's a beautiful moment. They have been uh, friends and stuff for, for so long. Uh, back to to Michonne, to Michonne and them. They he talked. They talked to uh to Franklin's father <laughs> from from uh from uh South uh what was his name uh, Snowfall from Snowfall or whatever. And so they end up end up exchanging information. He tells them where he stays and stuff. He stays on a naval base. So she's going to take this gamble. She's going to try to go with him to this base by herself. And if he's on this base, he has military weapons. So that can be enough to, to defeat the herd. So that is something that they need. So she decides to do this on her own. Nobody else. Everybody else go back to Alexandria. I'm going to go do this gamble on my own. We know from uh, Comic Cons or whatever, this is supposed to be Michonne's last season. Will Michonne die at the naval base? Will Homeboy go against her? Will he have a group of people against the, uh, a group of people over there? Or will will the naval base will that be uh where Rick was taken? Will she stay over there? Will it just uh they cut just cut her off until like maybe the last uh end of the Walking Dead? Cause maybe uh Rick and Michonne will come back at the end of uh the series or something. What's going to happen with that? What's going to happen with that? But, uh, back to, back to, uh, to Carol and them. So Carol sees Alpha. She goes chasing after Alpha. And so, so Daryl thought he, he got through to, he's like, no, Carol, wait. So he, he, they chasing, chasing after Alpha and stuff. Uh, they end up, they end up going through it through some darkness or whatever. They end up going through like a cave. So he's like, Carol, Carol, where you at? So basically, he go in, go in this cave. Everybody ends up getting trapped. They fall. Do, 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 do. The bottom of this cave, this mine shaft, whatever this is, that is where the herd is, has been. Or that is where they're hiding them. Wow. So, the way that they are right now, they have kind of like failed through. So it's like, what what will will they be able to do? Will Alpha and them come through 
and be like, yeah, we're going to kill y'all. We're going to throw y'all into the herd or something. Will they be able to climb out? Possibly, probably not with The Walking Dead. They can't march through them. How will they be able to get through the herd or whatever? Me, like Bert, I, w I would hope they would have a way to climb out or whatever, but they probably won't. But if they would have a way to climb out, like they could, that would be such a way to take care of the herd right there. Start a fire, throw it on the, on the walker. That fire goes from one walker to the other walker to the other walker. Ah, they all screaming. Da, 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 da. Big fire underground. Herd defeated. That would be nice, but it's not going to happen like that. But it was an interesting way to, to end the episode off, man. Look, don't know what's going to happen. I'm... I'm I'm taken aback. I'm surprised at what's going on with, with Michonne. Is this gonna be how she, she leaves the series? Uh Maggie's supposed to come back. Is Maggie gonna come back at the end of this season? Probably not. But it would be nice. It would be nice to see Maggie. If Maggie come back, will Maggie come back and help her? Will she actually get uh will Michonne actually get weapons from this naval base? I guess we'll find out next time on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Do 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 do. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's interesting, man. It's interesting. I, I kind of, I'm curious. I'm, we eight episodes in, so what they gonna have like maybe two episodes left before they they go away from for a uh, vacation or whatever. Uh, we'll see, man. Uh, I'm all high pitched right now, stuff. So. But uh, like, comment, subscribe. Gonna be the greatest of the most hated, man. What are y'all thoughts, man? What y'all think gonna gonna happen? Hmm. Shade. I have no idea. <laughs> Peace.